real reason we brought you here um, because we knew kind of what we were going to do anyway, so I wasn't going to ask permission because, damn it, I'm like 55 now, and you're my sister, not my mom. Is, uh, Thank we gotta, God. we got to sign the paperwork. Okay. You know Close how to write. I'm pretty sure the guy in the cowboy hat is the mother in charge. Yes, sir. Yeah, the cowboy hat is the mother in charge. That's right. So everyone knows I like messing with Daphne and she's always yelling at me that we don't let her out of her cage very often. And I'm going up to the Black Hills with a couple of the guys tomorrow. So let's just tell her the good news that she gets to go. What's up? Why are you smiling? Because I think I got a potential uh, really good purchase up in uh, Sturgis, South Dakota, Black Hills, since I'm taking a couple of the guys and you always cry that I don't ever get you out of your office and I keep you in here like you're a caged animal even though the door's always open. You're gonna go too. It's Sturgis. Yeah. Because I figure you, when I come back from buying something, you say I made a bad decision or the guys talked me into it. So if I'm going to make bad decisions, you might as well go. So you can blame me now. Well, you better bring a checkbook, like a big one. What are you buying? Don't worry about it. You get to go and you get to help. Maybe. Thanks, Richard. You're welcome. A day out of the office is like a, well, it's a day out of the office. Sturgis. That's not a beach. Obviously, when Gas Monkey or, or myself do something, we like to kick the doors in and do it right and do it in a pretty spectacular fashion. So this project that we're going up to Sturgis for is going to be pretty massive. And it's a pretty big move for us, but especially because we're a thousand miles apart. But I've been looking at it for a couple of years and I wanted to get down and, uh, you know, really make something kick ass happen. So we're putting together the A-team on this. Everybody's going and I think everybody knows what's happening except for Daphne. So don't tell her, but uh, we're bringing uh, Josh, we're bringing the, the millennials with the cameras and I'm gonna need some extra, extra help with this because I can't dump it on Daphne because she's got enough going on with the 72,000 million other things that I do on a daily basis that sometimes piss her off. So what we're gonna do is uh, get Margaret in here and uh, tell her what I need because if I'm correct, I think that she used to bartend and I think she still does maybe for some part-time cash. So uh, this might be a big way for her to help us out. Margaret, you're the next contestant on what the f Yay. What's up? Um, okay, so uh, I decided that I'm gonna take you to Sturgis with us. Okay. Now I just told Daphne that we're going and I don't really wanna let the cat out of the bag, but you like worked bartending when I met you and then you uh, also still kind of did it, right? So you understand how a bar works and functions yeah. and all that quite literally took me from a bar and put me here so well now i'm putting you in a bar oh, okay. so we're going full circle yeah maybe maybe if i can get this deal done but i don't want to to know anything about it but what i need you to do is get with the city of sturgis okay i'm going to give you a couple of numbers to the guy that i'm talking to up there and trying to negotiate this deal and I need to meet with as many people as I possibly can. I don't care if they're soda distributors, beer distributors, uh, signage, permits, uh, electricians, plumbers, uh, construction dudes, anything and everything that I need to pull this off in quick fashion because the locals like you to be open all year round. They don't really care for uh, what they call the rally people. So I'm planning on trying to be open all year round. So I wanna do it right. Uh, Dave, the guy that I've been talking to about buying this place, is going to be super helpful. He loves it that we might be coming up there. But it's going to be a hell of a lot of digging for you to find all the right people. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us. No, you do. So oh, I, I do. I just handed you. I just okay. handed you that work. Just get with Dave. Uh, we don't have the deal completely done yet. And don't let Daphne know what's going on. Uh, because if I get this place bought and we have Gas Monkey Sturgis, that's going to be freaking kick-ass. Okay, so also what you're telling me is that when Daphne flips out, it's not your fault, it's mine now. Well, I am kind of shifting the blame a little bit. Okay. Because, see, I'm not doing anything but making the deal, but you're making the business, so get you some of that. All right, let's do it. What's up, everybody? Before I hop on this plane, I want to give a huge shout-out to the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. 
Uh, life's been pretty wild lately, especially with me and my most recent venture. And uh, the deadline is short on this project and it's been a real ride to make sure that we're gonna get it all done in time for rally. That's why I'm stoked to partner with BetterHelp. They hook you up with licensed therapists who get what you're going through and give you solid, unbiased advice. Being an entrepreneur can sometimes feel very overwhelming, especially with a big new venture. It's always a lot to juggle, the deadlines are tight, the stakes are high, and sometimes you need someone to talk to and uh, unwind your mind. There's no shame in getting some help. BetterHelp makes that easy. Therapy is like a tune-up for your mind. It can help you tackle anything from your everyday stress to those bigger hurdles that life throws at you. Signing up is easy. Just go to betterhelp.com slash gasmonkeygarage. You can do it all from your phone, your computer with video chat, phone calls, even messaging, whatever fits your schedule. And here's the cool thing. If you're not totally vibing with your therapist, it's easy to change and it's okay. Switching to a new one is as easy as a pit stop. No extra cost, no insurance hassle. It's all about just finding what works for you. So go to betterhelp.com forward slash gas monkey garage or choose gas monkey garage during the sign up and get 10% off of your first month. Get the help you need on your time. Betterhelp.com forward slash gas monkey garage is your road to a better you. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm on the plane and getting up to Sturgis. What's up, Margaret and Josh? Up early, digging it. Yeah. What's up, Mike? Yeah. My brother, how are you? Sweet. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. You guys ready? We're ready, yeah. brother. Curious is going to be right. <laughs> what do you got to be curious about? I mean, no, we're just going, right? We're just going. All right. Here comes Daphne. What? What are y'all doing here? Good morning, Daphne. Hello. I mean, is this going to be a big party? Are we actually going on vacation? No, we're not going on vacation. We're going to do some business. Mike's going with us, too. Tells me there's a one-of-a-kind buy, and I can't wait to see it. I did bring the checkbook. All right. We got money. Okay. And Mike's got a plane, so let's get on and get going. All right. Here I'm go. ready. Go! Cool. Hey, Daphne, now that you've ridden in the lap of luxury, do you know what uh, we're going to look at or not? I do not. <laughs> Everybody else does. <laughs> So we had a nice little flight on the nice little jet and uh, we just landed at Spearfish. I understand it's about 10 minutes from where we're going. Uh, we're going to get down to uh, literally the epicenter of the Black Hills Rally, the, the corner of Junction in Maine, and uh, see if we can get something done. to get out of the car there. Well, why'd they make you sit in the back? I don't know. So are uh, we having lunch? Uh, well, we're gonna meet this gentleman here. I, I believe so. You must be Dave. Yep, I'm Dave. Dave, how you doing? Good, nice to meet you. This gentleman is uh, Nick. my son, Nick. Son, Nick. Hey, look at this. These guys look like they're in the same club. Yeah, they do. Four, four, Dave, fourth Nick. generation of the pizza. I'm Daphne. So Daphne, uh, Mike Sisk, Margaret, and Josh. Show me around what you got here. I know you got a really kick-ass garage. Take it however you want to see. Go over and take a look at that first. Yeah. I thought we were having lunch. Right here is literally where they put the first stop sign. Right there on that big black thing, it says, Welcome to the Black Hills Rally. And boom, you come into Sturgis. Literally 75% of the people come up Junction Avenue right here. That's the Sturgis Harley Davidson dealership. A hundred feet down there is the corner of Junction in Maine, which is the literal epicenter of what's going on. This guy's got a pretty cool place here. I've been here a few times. He's got good pizza. Do you know what the origins of this building were? Because it looks like it was a service station. Yeah, they did oil changes to the rally quite a few years and some other service work. So, I mean, I'm talking like originally, originally. I've got no clue. I love the brick floor. Do we know why it's raised? And it's raised concrete, isn't it? How long have you owned the place? For two years. That roof is cool. Why are you asking so many questions about the building? I just dig the place. 
I didn't see this. It's like a little office. Could be a bedroom. It's very dark in there. Is that a bathroom? It is, Daphne, look. Very, very nice, very sanitary. I won't tell you what this reminds me of. Look at that. That looks like somewhere somebody could probably poop. That looks like somebody did already do that. Is this where we're gonna eat? Are these windows sealed or do they still go open to one? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Are they windows if they have electrical in them? They're maybe they're windows. electric windows. <laughs> oh, the fun, the fun bunch. Let's go check out this other side, sis. You see what I'm saying about these right here next to the Harley shop? This has got such a cool exterior. Just imagine 200,000 bikes everywhere, with bikes everywhere. Everywhere, Daphne. Okay, what are, you, what are y'all trying to tell me? Look, I've been here a few times. We serve good pizza. We're a little bit early for the lunch crowd. I mean, there's gonna be like probably six or 12 people in there later. What does Swint mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. During the rally, you usually like, I think I've seen where you rent this out to like a Mr. Fix-It dude or something like that. Through, through the years, they've had a lot of different repair, repair, repair places in here. What about the parking lot? Oh, the parking's been different. For, you know, one year we rented it out for food, food vendors, and then last year we just offered uh, free, free parking to motorcycles. You know, instead of charging, we just let people come in. Are you it. able to put like beer tubs out here? Yep, the, the beer and wine license goes to this whole property. Okay. At, at one time, you know, shade is a really big thing in that, you know, in that month, and this would make a good place to get out of the shade too. Super cool. What um, on the back line does the? I think the property line is right along the building, and it there's like not even three or four feet. It's like on right, the building. That, and that's the that's an alley that goes through there. So it is an easement? Yep, there's an easement to go through there. Okay. Something's really strange here. Well, yeah, Richard's here. Basically what I'm getting, he's just, he's really into the history of Sturgis. I mean, you know this, he's got bikes. He's got motorcycles. Again, right. I don't see any bikes or motorcycles around it's, here. All I, I see, not yet, not yet. Yeah. All I see is a pizza sign. Well, we know that Richard loves pizza. I know, and that's. A lot. I know, but. We might have. Is that why we flew? We flew all the way here for some Surely, pizza. No. Yeah. No, we didn't fly here for pizza. When we walk around to the other side, mm -hmm. is there going to be like a crazy sign, some kind of crazy car, crazy, what kind of crazy thing is he trying to buy? There you go. Crazy. I think he's trying to throw me off. It's a crazy thing. I don't know. How crazy is crazy? Yep. What do you think, buddy? Because I think Daphne's going to figure it out before we get to tell her. Well, I think we're in the parking lot. It's not what we want. We want to buy the damn place. Well, that's what I want to do. That's well, why we've been working on it. Let's make an offer. All right. We can do that. Let's go inside and see what he's got going on with the kitchen and stuff. wondering what's gas monkey thinking about going to Sturgis what's Richard doing well I got kind of a theory on a couple of things uh, one uh, I've looked at this place and lots of other places around here for a few years because I think having a spot in Sturgis is kind of a feather in the cap and something really good for gas monkey garage and then uh, two I don't want to be a rally business I really want this to be a local business because six to seven months a year this town is kind of dead, but everybody that lives around here, you know, within a 30 mile stretch each way, needs somewhere to go have a cold beer and a hot pizza and a good meal. Uh, so I want to build something that's long lasting like that. And I think this is a prime opportunity to get involved with a business that not only do we own the dirt, but we are also a premium business here with cold beer, hot pizza, whatever else we can cook in a pizza oven and, you know, make it a badass destination place because you know, we're worldwide. Gas Monkey is literally in a hundred and something countries, translated into 20 something languages. And to have a Gas Monkey Sturgis shirt that you can get, and you can ride your bike, or you can wear it proudly at the swap meet or whatever, 
That, to me, is badass, and that's advancing the Gas Monkey brand, and that's kind of what I do. I advance the Gas Monkey brand. What's with all the questions? I mean, I'm getting antsy. I don't understand. You're asking a lot of questions. I thought we were stopping here for lunch, and... Well, you want me to tell you before lunch or after lunch? I don't know. All I'm drinking is water. Looks like it's got vodka in it. No, it's just water. Me and Mike want to buy the place. I love pizza. And I love drinking. And I like drinking out while I'm eating pizza. And I like Sturgis. I volunteer. So I just, you're uh, drinking a pizza, Daphne. I'm sorry. It's the one thing he hasn't done. He's so never on a pizza all job. of y'all, we're in on this. Yeah, we have a lot of meetings this afternoon. It's as long as we can get a deal done with Dave on a final price. And you Margaret's, brought the checkbook. Margaret's and y'all just had me bring the checkbook. Well, you got, a, you got a nice flight on a private jet. I'm glad I did. Thank you. You're quite welcome. You might get to fly home if you come around to our line of thinking, or I can stick you on Southwest. We're serious. Just imagine, 200,000 bucks, this place full. Parking lot with vendors. And, and we'll show you around later. You haven't been to Sturgis. That's the part, that's the Sturgis Harley Davidson dealership. This yeah, is the corner of Junction and Main. Okay. If you've ever seen any of the pictures I take when I come up here, and there's bikes everywhere. It's right there on that corner. Okay. The city starts right here. Okay. And I'm assuming since Margaret knew all about that or about this, she's done all the due diligence. Well, no, I wouldn't I, go that far. Okay. I just told her to make sure. Like pizza. Wow. He likes to drink. So much faith. Well, <laughs> That's it. No, due diligence the way she's talking about is like insurance stuff and government stuff. I just told uh, Margaret that I needed to talk to, you know, vendors and uh, the, the beer dudes, the soda people, the ice people, the food people, the uh, people for people, whoever sells mops and buckets around here. Uh, but imagine... If we've got the literally the entry to Sturgis okay. for the bike rally, all right. right there, we've got all our t-shirt girls out there slinging shirts, we've got tables and chairs and slinging beer, and we're slinging pizza by the slice in here. You and put a little gas monkey magic in here? Little. Daphne, maybe some little signs are not a gas monkey. Big signs. All, all Big that signs. stuff that I collect. All the, oh, yes. Okay, so, here we go. I'm, I'm getting stuff. it, I'm getting it. Okay. Well, here's the hard part. It's a million bucks. <laughs> so are we all going home on Southwest? We might have to start <laughs> saving some money. <laughs> Mike's doing the development up the way in Leeds and okay. building a, a bunch of homes. There's a new country club going in up there with uh, a bunch of homes. There's going to be... A lot of, this is a five to ten year play. It's a place you could retire to. You could be a beer head. <laughs> slinging shots, slinging beers, eating pie. Oh, pause. It's a great way to retire and still work for me. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I like the idea of retirement. I do. Um, I don't know. I have to see the numbers. Do I get to see the numbers at least? He said it's a million dollars. And that's it? Yeah. And he's closing down like tomorrow. So zero income and a million dollars. And that's our due diligence? That's it? <laughs> sort of. I mean, it is Sturgis. It's pretty easy up here. We, we, just, we get a license a for this, get a license for that. Are we doing this? Mike, ready to make an offer? I'm ready to make an offer. Dave? I was ready to make an offer when I got here. So. You're at one, two. I know I can't use your name. You said either. one. Hey, shh. This is a negotiation. You leave this part to me. Oh, sorry. Golly. So I know I can't keep the name AB because that's been your family since what, 69? Since 1969, yep. 1969 was a perfect year. Happens to be the year I was born. <laughs> uh, but uh, you're at one, two. Me and Mike want to be at a minute. Just a nice round number. Just a nice round. Kick ass. Boom. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. You bet. 
I think, thank you. <laughs> now we drink. Now we bought a bar 1,000 miles away from home that somebody's got to run. And uh, by the way, you and uh, Margaret have a lot of appointments whoa, this afternoon. Whoa, whoa, Mike, the bar's over here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> How does that happen every single time? It does taste like a million dollars. It does taste like a million dollars. Yeah, you know that's just a down payment. We still gotta fix this place up. <laughs> Daphne, yes, money. We're gonna need more money, Daphne. I haven't even written the check here yet. Listen, one thing at a time. Gotta go with the plan. Let me tell you right now. I love building our cars, and you know that side of the job, but. There's days like this that make you appreciate the the long days, the late nights and everything. And sitting here, knowing that that's the main entrance to, you know, Main Street of Sturgis. Like, this is where I plan to be. I want to see all of the badass bikes just rolling through, meet the people and everything. I am so excited about this, dude. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. Pizza, beer. Gonna be motorcycles. That's everything I need right there, dude. <laughs> it's good pizza, by the way. Richard, I'm really proud of you signing your own documents for your own business deals, finally. It's not like you do anything weird. You have to sign my name with your power of attorney. It's not like I'm getting out of anything. I know, but it's really hectic when this I have to do it. This one's identical to the arm. settlement statement that you signed this right off This is so the ridiculous. Path. It's a building. This is a lot of fucking paper. I know. <laughs> that was the last one. Get you some of that. We are bar owners <laughs> and Sturgis. So let's get started with a cold beer, please. That was, my hand is tired. Josh, give me tape. Tape. Oh shit. Hold on, I'm trying to make work. You got it. Looks like it work. Usually I'd say get you some of that, but now it's get you a piece of that. What? So this place has great bones. That's what I really like about it. It's in the right position, but it hasn't been gas monkeyed yet. And uh, so I've got the planning and zoning guys here. I've got some builders here. I got a lot of people here right now that we're meeting with because I need to do a, a little bit of a presto changeover this year, but I want to make sure I don't do anything that I got to rip out for the following year. So we're trying to make smart decisions and uh, start spending some money, you know, like we didn't spend enough already. So once we got here, I figured something was going on, but couldn't quite put my finger on it. Richard was asking a whole lot of questions just for us to be stopping for lunch. I mean, asking a lot of questions about the building, asking a lot of questions about the business, um, just really weird questions for what I thought we were just coming up to do some kind of buy or a crazy buy with more signs or something. And it just seemed a little strange. But this place has a lot of potential. I think we'll really kill it. Um, everyone loves Gas Monkey, and I know that everyone's gonna love Gas Monkey Sturgis. So um, I hope he's not planning on me slinging beers in the heat of the summer. And other than that, I think it's time for a team. You know how I like America? This is supposedly a very, very, very large American flag. And uh, that's one thing that I did not see here. So I think it's important that we have one. So maybe we put it on a pole or maybe we put it on the ceiling, but we own it now. So see how big it is, Josh. <laughs> Who's gonna get it back in the bag? Well, first we gotta fold it, it right. It is fun. Yeah. All right. See that? It's gonna take a few of us. 
Well, come on, everybody grab a corner. Hey, I need more in. <laughs> Judging by the size of the stripes, this is massive. <laughs> We're not even done with the fucking stripes yet. Gosh. <laughs> I need more hands. Yeah, we <laughs> hey, this is like an NFL game. Okay, start. Our stripes go that way. We're going to need a bunch more. Grab it. Hey. Well, Daphne, make yourself useful and grab a corner. corner. stars out. Boom! That just happened. Fucking America. Paper. We now own a piece of, uh, really a piece of history. Literally the epicenter of Sturgis, South Dakota. The biggest rally in the world. And uh, we just bought A and B pizza. We got to make it our own now. Absolutely. We got a lot of fucking work to do between now and fucking I know. <laughs> I think the easy part was buying it because now we got to figure out the menu and uh, get some garage beer down here. And, uh, and this building over here, I think, is going to be bad. I just hope they got a lot of before pictures because the after pictures are going to be fucking bad. Oh, it's going to be the freaking coolest place in all of Sturgis. And you know what I think? You can have all these big bars that are around here. That's fine. We make money per square foot here. Absolutely. Boom. Brother, get you some of that. Get you some <laughs> pizza of that. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, at this rate, we'd be open in the parking lot in August. <laughs>